What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Here. This guy's here today, but we just can't show his face. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have a Nissan Versa. And on a road test while you're driving, you hit the brake, you can feel the car do this. So that could come from the rear suspension or the front suspension. But I started in the front suspension and I did the, the rock test, roll the car back and forth like this, right? You don't see any of this movement in the control arms on either side. And then the subframe is the solid mounted to the body. So in the older ones, they had rubber bushings that the subframe would, would move and make the chassis and the wheels move at different rates. So then I was like, well, I know something's moving, so take a closer look on this side. So then I seen like a little bit of rubber stuff there, and then I'm gonna take my pry bar, and you can see that right there. See the bushing is separating. Let me get my pry bar. See how it's moving up and down? So when I'm hitting the brakes under the load, it's doing this. But it's not showing up like this. And if the wheels were hanging, it probably wouldn't show up. It's just not that worn out yet. So this side doesn't move, that side moves. And you almost gotta check back here too. I don't expect this to be bad, but you definitely have to check these. Because your rear suspension is just as important as your front suspension. Some people don't realize that, but it all works together. Thanks for watching.